Well, hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the Erin Condren binder and how it's held up for me for the past year. I've been using it for just a year now and I want to talk about the things that I love and some of the things that I really don't love for me personally. So this is the Erin Condren binder from last year. If I can find my like move-in video or like first impressions video, I'm going to link that stuff up here for you guys. So this is the binder now after a year. And I will tell you, um, I'm probably gonna have questions on this. I don't think I took my binder with me anywhere. I may have taken it to like one or two planner meetups, but I didn't take it out every day. It literally just sat on my desk, like right here. It didn't move from this room for the most part. I got the navy cover. This is the, um, like a canvas, it's very, very thin, um, like a canvas material. And I believe they came in this color, the navy, there was a gray, and I think there was like a blush color. And anyway, I got this, loved it. It clearly has been very well loved, as you can see on the corners. Um, it does have the brass hardware, whoops, like right here, but I don't know if you guys can see. Let me, I'm gonna zoom you in so you can kind of see the damage this has caused. So there's quite a bit of wear and tear on a lot of these corners. Also, um, it might be a little bit hard to see because this is reflective, but um, like the middle of this is now silver. And like, yes, there's like Doyle hair all over it. And then on the very back here, it's like completely off. I'm kind of surprised it's not like peeling up yet. <laughs> um, so yeah, but like all the corners are pretty worse for the wear, especially on the back for some reason. And I have a theory on why, um, I'll t share that in just a moment. But yeah, this is all discolored. And then over here, it's a little discolored right on this corner. And um, the front uh, and then up here, the bottom actually looks kind of okay and the side looks kind of okay, but the front is like, I don't know, like you just can't get all this stuff off and I'm not going to take a lint roller to my planner. That just seems weird, you know? Anyway, all right, let's zoom you guys back out so we can look a little bit further. Do, 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 do. So yeah, the binder, in my opinion, didn't, like the exterior didn't really hold up as well as I would have assumed something would from Erin Condren product line. However, this was their first year producing a binder. This year, I have it actually off to the side here. This is a, I think it's called book cloth. It's like a coated material that feels really, like it's gonna hold up way better. It feels like thicker um so yeah like it doesn't feel as like i don't know this feels really flimsy this feels better um if i can find the video of this i will pop it up in a card for you guys um but i just wanted to kind of like compare and contrast i think they figured out that this binder was not the best for someone that wants to carry it around all the time or even someone like me that just never took it anywhere. It still has a lot of wear and tear and damage. So when you open it up, and again, this is the one from this past year. So this uh, current one is no longer available. Something that bothers me about this one is that this these rings never really, like it was very easy for these to like skip and um, you'll notice, I'm gonna flip through a few of these pages. Some of these rings are super flat, but like this one right here, like the pages get stuck because they don't line up nicely. Like they don't, I don't know, it's kind of like, if they're like supposed to be like this, they're like that. Like they just don't line up nice. And um, these ones are pretty good, but there's like, this one's really bad. And then like, I don't know, a couple of these aren't great either. Um, I do have an uh, interchangeable cover on the front and the back, and the reason why, and this is still true now, um, oh, and I will say, with the coil, they have made improvements. It's very smooth this year um, as to like where they connect to each other. So hopefully that won't be that big of an issue this upcoming year. But the problem is when you try to turn these, you really need like a flap or something because here let's just open to a random page like we're just gonna open to 
this day. Okay, so here's a here's a day. If I want to close this, like I like I can't like like it doesn't close. It stays looking like this. Like that's the aerial view of what it looks like. Like I can't I can't close it. So oh, it like popped out. That happens all the time. Okay, let's pop her back. Pop you back in, kid. Pop you back in. So to combat that problem, say I'm just gonna open up to another page again. If I wanna close it, what I have to do is I have to stick my hand underneath there, kind of push the pages forward, and then push the pages this way, and then kinda like lift it and do this. Sad thing is, is that is not improved on the New Year's binder, sadly which really sucks. Um, I think it's like a ring issue. Like I feel like if the ring in the back, or I'm sorry, this is the back, um, in the back would be like a flatter ring or something um, that we wouldn't have these problems. But um, I don't know, I don't, I don't design binders. So anyway, that is why I keep an interchangeable cover in, just so it's just easy to like hold on to and just whoop, you know? Uh, anyway, I did put these in. These are an additional, like, charge. I mean, you, these don't actually come with the binder, but you can get these pockets from Erin Condren to put stuff in. I never really used anything for the back one, but in the front one, I have some stuff. So I have, doo -doo -doo -doo. I have these, like, little, um, dots from Coffee Break Planner, and I use them to, like, track my cycle, so why not? And then I have my Pete Buttigieg sticker. So those just hang out in there. And yeah, so I'm gonna do like a quick little flip to share. I am gonna film a video as well, and this will be up on my channel hopefully soonish, sharing every single spread from this year in the planner, because I feel like I would wanna see that, so why the heck not? Um, but yeah, I mean, the pages have held up well, the paper's held up well, like everything, everything is all good. Um, so yeah, but every, I don't know, I just really, I like the planner. Oh, also, hold on, we're gonna, oh, this is gonna be so hard to show. I will tell you these rings, let me, my mind is all over the place. I'm just kinda like noticing these things. So, the rings, like, right here are very, like, tarnished in a way. Um, this one isn't that bad, but this one, the side, like, it's very speckly. Um, and it's kind of all over these as well. Um, again, I didn't take this anywhere with me, so I can't imagine what the issue is. But again, it's probably just the plating that's on here. Um, so yeah, I do like that they didn't do the flips this way where you can open them up that you just have to go like this and then open them um, because I feel like this would get caught on the paper. So I'm really glad that they didn't do that. So that's a design that I really, really like. And again, the next year's one is the same where it doesn't have those little flippy dudes on them. And then, like I said, these feel way better, but um, I don't know if the clasps just like over time from like opening and shutting them have that issue where they just don't line up after a while. I'm just, I'm not really sure. But one of the things I absolutely love is that, hold on, let me zoom you out again. Hello, hello, here we go. <laughs> Doodly -doo -doo. Okay. One of the things I absolutely love about the binder and why I have decided to go with a binder again for next year, even though there are some design flaws with it, is that I can take the pages out. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love taking the pages out. It is just like it's my jam. I love doing that. And the reason I like doing it is because it makes it easier to like lay washi down or write directly on the paper or even sometimes just apply stickers. It's just so much easier. So I love being able to take the pages out and then move them around. Um, in this planner, the new one that I have for this year, I made myself basically a Franken planner. I'm going to link the video up above for you guys if you're interested in watching that. But I was able to create my perfect planner basically, and just take the pages out and put the pages how I wanted them and what made sense for me in my life and then the way that I plan. So I just, I love that part of it. It's so, so nice. And um, in the 
binder, you can choose uh, with Erin Condren, you can choose if you want the vertical, horizontal, or the hourly. I am the hourly person. That's just who I am. That's just what I love. Um, let me get to a day here. So this is like, this is an hourly. So it's got the times. It's hard to see because it's like clearly all planned. So anyway, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a fan of that. But yeah, I'm really excited to actually see how the next year's one holds up. I will film another video for you guys next year saying, you know, things about that. Um, I just... I'm in love with the binder, you guys. Even though it has some flaws, I just wanted to give you my honest opinion and thoughts and kind of what happened to my binder um, over the course of a year of using it consistently. And yes, I planned basically every week. Um, but yes, this is definitely used and abused. <laughs> and I just wanted to give you guys an honest look or honest look at, um, you know, what it looks like after a year of use. So yeah. So anyways, that's gonna be my video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed a look at how my Erin Condren Life Planner binder held up for one year of use. If you have an Erin Condren Life Planner binder from the previous year, so 2019 slash 2020, let me know in the comments how yours has held up. And then also, if you can include, do you take it out of your home? Do you travel with it? Do you take it to work every day? Like, how do you use yours? Or are you someone like myself that just lets it sit on their desk and then they plan and then they put it away? Let me know. I'd be really curious to know if somebody actually took it everywhere with them for the most part and how it's held up now. So yeah, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful day. Feel free to thumbs up, subscribe, put a comment down below, and I'm going to see you all in the next video. Bye, guys! Well, folks, it's time to kick it old school. Uh, so you can feel cool. <laughs> Give it to me, baby. <laughs> baby. <laughs> yeah.